Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, March 19, 2011. This week, Tricks with Text Series Number 1, Colorful Letters in Photoshop and Elements. This week, we're beginning a new series that will give you some tricks for adding pizzazz to the text on your digital projects. The first tip is a really quick and easy way to give your titles a little whimsy and color by filling in letter loops with color. Begin by opening a new document or a scrapbook page in Photoshop or Elements. Get the horizontal type tool and then choose a scripty font or a font with loops in the options bar across the top of your editing window. Choose a font size and color in the same location. Type a word on your document and then click the check mark to confirm the type. In Elements, the check mark will likely be green and will be below the text. And then move your text into place. Making sure that the text layer is selected, get the Magic Wand tool. Choose the Add to Selection icon here in the Options bar and tick Contiguous. Then click inside all of the loops that you want to fill with one color. Marching Ants will surround each of the selected sections. Next, click the Create a New Layer icon, which looks like a little post-it note with a folded up corner. This places a new transparent layer above the text layer. Choose a fill color by clicking on the foreground color chip at the bottom of the tool bin. You can come over to your document and pick up a color from your scrapbook page if you'd like, and then click OK. Get the Paint Bucket tool and click once inside one of your selections, and it will fill all of your selections with that color. Press Ctrl D or on a Mac System Command D to remove the selections, and then click back on the text layer. Get the Magic Wand tool and make more loop selections. Make a new layer, choose a new foreground color, this time I'll pick up the gold and click OK and then use the paint bucket to fill those selections. Continue until you have filled your letter loops with color, creating a fun and whimsical effect for your digital scrapbook project. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.